The tape in a cassette is like a very long scroll of parchment. The only way to find a particular piece of information is to read through the whole thing from beginning to end. This is because the information is arranged in one long, uninterrupted sequence. You have sequential access to information on a cassette. But a disc, on the other hand, is like a book. You can go directly to any particular piece of information you want, ignoring all the rest of the book. You have random access to information in a book or on a disc. But before you can read or write information in any particular part of a book, you must first number its pages and give it a table of contents. The same goes for a disc. When it's manufactured, it's completely blank. In order for the computer to find its way around the disc, it needs page numbers and a table of contents. Putting this information on the disc is called formatting and usually consists of dividing the disc into a number of tracks, like the chapters of a book, and then dividing each of these tracks into a number of sectors, the pages. One or more of these sectors will be set aside for a table of contents, a catalog. Once a disc is formatted, the computer can randomly access any of its sectors in order to read or write some information. That means that when you type save in the name of the program, it's very easy for the computer to save your program on any particular part of the disk. And when you type load in the name of the program, it's equally easy for the computer to load your program from that particular part of the disk back into its memory.